Okay, so we're looking at uh, large format uh, printing and design. So uh, let's say hypothetically that a client has asked me to design a billboard three meters by 12 meters. So the first thing you need to do is speak to your printer and find out just exactly what their requirements are because they may differ from printer to printer. So the instructions I'm giving you here are very generic instructions. But um, the general rule of thumb is design at 10% of the actual size. So if we take 3 meters by 12 meters, 10% of that will be uh, 30 centimeters by 120 centimeters. And then we also need a bleed. So the bleed would normally be 10 centimeters. Um, that also depends on what the printer requires, but 10 centimeters is a pretty safe bet for a billboard. So we're going to make that 1 centimeter, in other words, 10% of that. And then the margins, which is the area around the edge of the billboard, would normally be around about 20 centimeters. So we'll make a two centimeter margin. Okay, so let's build this billboard now. So we're going to go to our artboard tool, make a new artboard, set the reference point to the left so that when we resize the artboard, it doesn't go and overlap the previous artboards. We'll make it a width of 120 centimeters and 30 centimeters high. So that is 1,200 millimeters by 300 millimeters. And then I'll just move it over here. And I'll also change the bleed to 10 millimeters or one centimeter. And then I'm gonna put in my margin. So I'll bring up my ruler, drag a margin down here and unlock my guide, sorry, drag a guide down, unlock my guides, and I'll set the first one to 10 millimeters or one centimeter. And then another one, which will be um, 280. Actually, the first one must be 20 millimeters, two centimeters. And then a vertical one on this side, which will be on the X, Okay, so what we need is we need the, the zero point for our ruler to be in the top left hand corner of this billboard and it's not at the moment. So in order to do that, I'm going to double click in the corner here uh, with this billboard being active. Okay, there we go. So now zero is there, which is what I want. So the X value will be 20 and then another one which will be um, 1,200 minus 20 is 1,180. Mm -hmm. uh, with this billboard selected, so 1,180. Okay, then I'm going to lock my guides. So that's the size, that's 10% of the actual size. Now I'm gonna place an image. So when you're placing images and using images for billboards, always try and get the absolutely highest quality you can get. Don't link it, but rather place it and uh, embed it because um, the printer's gonna, pr gonna prefer that. Okay, so I'll just set that in here. Now I'm going to crop it because this is quite a big image and um, I don't want to waste uh, computer proce uh, processing power on pixels I'm not using. So I'm going to crop to the size of the bleed for the billboard. And then apply. And the thing with it is that um, this is a print document that I've set up and my raster effects are set to 300 pixels per inch. So I'm giving the printer quite a high quality um, document to work with. Remember the printer is never going to print at 300 pixels per inch because billboards are viewed from a much further distance away. So the printer will probably print at 72 or 150 pixels per inch which will be absolutely fine. Or something as big as a billboard. So this image will translate really well. OK, 
Okay, so let's look at the logo here because we're going to place that in here. So I'm just going to double click and get rid of that background. So we're just working with the logo. So the text has been converted to outlines. Very important for large scale work. Always your text must be outlines. Then I also have this background object here which has a brown stroke on it. Now be careful with leaving strokes because things can happen. If I just go to my transform panel and I turn off scale strokes and effects, watch what happens when I scale up this object. The stroke does not scale with it. Whereas if I put that on and I scale it up, the stroke scales with the object. So you want to try and avoid any stuff that can go wrong like that. And the way that you do it is to convert, convert your strokes into shapes by expanding them. So I'm going to go to Object, Expand, leave it on Fill and Stroke, and say OK. So now I've actually got two objects. So I've got one object, if I just isolate this, one object that's got a brown fill, which, is, which was the stroke, and one object that has the fill. So there are no strokes anymore on this artwork and that's what you want so we're going to now move the artwork across making sure we stick to our um, margins and scale it up into the margin area i'm going to arrange it to the front and just bring it in a little bit more Okay, and then I want to change that text so that it's more readable. So I'm just going to make that text white. Okay, so that's how you work with large format stuff. Make sure you work to a scale, in this case 10%. Make sure that your vector stuff is expanded so there are no strokes and that your text is, con is uh, converted to outlines. Make sure you get a really high quality image and use it at 300 pixels per inch um, and your printer can always work back from that to a lower resolution. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and see you next time.